all Sunday. If you're doing this, invite me over. I'm coming. Grilled <laughs> Cheese Bar, Matt Dahlman, Pitmaster at 18th and Vine, which is not at 18th and Vine. I don't think there is an 18th and Vine, is there? Not in Dallas, in Kansas City. Okay. So we're, we're, over, City. we're over on Maple Avenue. There you can you see go. it right if you're on the tollway. You yeah, can see it over exactly. there on the, uh, you got it. On that side. Come so, see me. Uh, so, with Grilled Cheese Bar. Yeah, so it's a little, kind of, something kind of fun for, to feed a crowd. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Big game, right? Um, everybody loves cooking brisket in Texas. Mm -hmm. um, so, we start with um, our brisket. We use about an 8 to 12 pound brisket. Um, Look at right that thing. Woo. I don't get to, I don't get to, get to roll in the smoker <laughs> and cook it for you today. Okay. But this is what it looks like. Like um, before it goes on the on the smoker, and we we'll, we'll get all sorts of seasonings. Yeah, so we've got a base rub of kosher salt, um, butcher black pepper, and then we have um, our signature brisket rub. Okay. So we'll apply that to the brisket, let it sit um, in the rub for about eight to ten hours. Okay. And then we'll apply what we call a mustard slather to that brisket right before Ooh, we cook it. Okay. And it comes out looking like this, and I always think, <clears throat> oh gosh, I burned it. That yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that, so that's the finished product. Um, 12 to 14 hours later. Wow. Um, I like to cook that brisket uh, to about 180 internal temperature, wrap it up in butcher, pepper, butcher paper, and then get it ready to serve. Nice. So, okay, so what are you doing? Okay, so what we've got um, to, to feed a crowd um, for our uh, brisket grilled cheese bar. Um, we're going to take this brisket, we're going to chop it up just like this. <clears throat> now this is something um, that my wife perfected. We've got, we've got our beautiful, juicy, freshly mm. chopped brisket. Okay. okay. Yeah. Buttered, buttered bread, um, extra oh. butter. All right. Uh, provolone cheese on both sides. You don't want that sandwich, that brisket grilled cheese. We're going to load it up with a bunch of toppings. Right. To be soggy. Got right. It. So this kind of seals the, all the good stuff exactly. inside of the sandwich. Exactly. Right. So you're going to take, so you're going to take your chopped brisket, and load it up right here. Now, yeah. um, depending <laughs> on what you guys like, we can do pickled jalapenos. We can do some uh, fresh made pickles, barbecue sauce, of course. Tim wants the works. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, so we're going to load it up. You want to do jalapenos? Sure. Well, let's get your morning going. <laughs> now, All pickling right. the jalapenos, is that, my, does that That's a mild lot of them down a little bit? A little bit, yeah. yeah. Yeah, not quite as fresh. There we go. And look at that. Beautiful, juicy, Yum. buttery brisket grilled cheese. What a, what a great idea. And then you just let people put their own together, kind of walk along the, the bar there. There we go. Yeah, we can, we can quarter it, serve it up hot. Yeah. That is beautiful. All right. And uh, Super Bowl this weekend, so. I've heard a rumor that that is happening this weekend. So you could probably pick up, pick up the meat at, uh, at your place, and uh, the rest is up to you, right? Yeah, come see us. We'll have them ready to go. All right. You can find this recipe and a link to 18th and Vine on our website, fox4news.com. We'll be right back.